All right, guys, so I'm gonna quickly go over the other two EZAs that are also coming to JP that I missed in my previous videos because I was so focused and so excited about this Int Janemba EZA and how crazy broken he is. But you know what? These guys deserve some love as well. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with the AGL Ultimate Gohan. And as you can see, his leader skill went from AGL types attack plus 70% to now AGL types key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Now I really wish they would have given him key plus three because honestly, you can't really run a lead these days unless they give at least three key. So that's unfortunate, but you know what? It is what it is. We're gonna move on to his super attack now. Explosive Demon Flash. It used to be supreme damage and rare chance to stun the enemy. And it is now supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. So I believe the stun rate went from 10%, which is a rare chance, to now 30%, which is pretty solid. His passive deep focus used to be attack plus 80% when key is 6 or more. It's now attack plus 100% when key is 6 or more. Also, he also gets a defense buff of 120% when HP is 80% or above. And when his HP falls below 79%, then he gets 40% defense and performs a critical only once. So basically, when you're above 80% and above 6 key, he will have 100% attack and 120% defense. And when you fall below 79%, he will have one guaranteed critical as well as 40% defense. So overall, you know, it's there's a lot of layers to it, but I like what it means. I like what it says. And it's way better, as you can see, than the previous buff of only 80% attack when key is six or more. So overall, he's going to do a lot more damage. He's going to be a lot more tanky. And he has that one chance or one time guaranteed critical, which could come in clutch in certain fights. His links stay the same, of course. Solid links, fierce battle, power plus by god, shocking speed, and fighter, Saiyan lineage, and Saiyan warrior race. I guess they could be a little bit better, but they're okay. You know, there's some good links in there. His categories are hybrid Saiyans and Maj Buu Saga, and these are his stats. At least these were his old stats, but once his EZA comes and you get him to level 140, then these are his new max stats 16,342 uh, HP. 14,794 attack and 10,654 defense. Anything else about him that I missed? I don't think so. Basically, you're gonna be using the medals from the EZA Int Gohan event to awaken him and it'll take 12 bronze, 20 silver, 12 gold, and 12 rainbow. So that's pretty much it for him. Now we're gonna move on to the next guy, which is very similar, honestly. So this is the physical ultimate Gohan. His leader skill used to be a rainbow leader skill, all types key plus 3, and still a rainbow leader skill, all types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. So, I mean, he, he gives one more key than Khalifla, but Khalifla also gives more of a stat boost. So either way, neither of them are really that good as leaders. His super attack is Super Kamehameha, causes supreme damage and raises attack for three turns, that was the old one. And the new one is causes supreme damage and raises attack for six turns. So double the amount of turns that he gets that attack raise, and I believe that is a 30% buff. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a 30% buff to his SA multiplier. So that's pretty good. And his passive is Iron Will, attack plus 80% when HP is 30% or above, that was the old one. And the new one now is key plus three, and attack plus 100%, and also defense uh, plus 120% when HP is 80% or above. When uh, HP is 79% or below, he gets 40% defense and performs a critical once only. So basically exact same passive, except for the fact that he gets key plus three, which the AGL Ultimate Gohan actually doesn't get. So I guess they made him marginally better than the Ultimate Gohan, although the Ultimate Gohan does have stun, which this guy doesn't. This guy just raises his own attack, so overall, I guess this guy will do a little bit more damage, but the other one has a little bit more utility as far as stunning goes. So I guess that depends on whether or not you can actually stun the boss. If you can't stun the boss, then this guy will be probably a little bit more useful because he get, can get his super off more often. Um, links are very similar as well. And of course, Hyper Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga. And these are his new stats, 14,721 attack, 16,338 HP, 10,345 defense as well. And same thing as the other Gohan, 12 bronze, 20 silver, 12 gold, and 12 rainbow medals from the EZA Ultimate Gohan event to awaken this guy. Let me just quickly do a stat comparison. So this is the physical one, and this is the AGL one. So the AGL has 14,794 attack, and the physical one has 14,721, so slightly higher attack from the AGL one, but he has lower HP and defense, I believe. 
actually higher defense as well, but lower HP. So overall, a bit higher stats from the AGL one. The physical one gets plus three key on his passive, which the AGL one doesn't. Um, but I gotta say, like <laughs> the, the the difference is minimal. Like both of them will be good units overall. They're still much better than they were previously, and they're both worth the Extreme Z Awakening, both worth the grind for the medals if you have these units, and I'm sure you guys can get some good use out of them on either their monotype teams, or if you don't have the Int Ultimate Gohan, you can also run these guys on Majin Buu Saga, and they would be pretty solid as well as far as tanking and damage output goes. So yeah, those are the two new EZAs that are also coming with Engine Emba. Of course, they got overshadowed by Engine Emba because of how freaking crazy good in Janemba's Extreme Z Awakening is. But you know what? I did want to show these guys some love. And if you guys are Ultimate Gohan fans, then congratulations because you can now awaken two more Ultimate Gohans. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these awakenings, whether you think they were overpowered, underpowered, or just right. Honestly, I think they're just right for these units considering they're not Dokkan Fest exclusive, so they don't have to be too powerful. It was a good upgrade. That's all I gotta say. But that's it for me today. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. And I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.